difficult times are coming difficult days are coming please be forewarned laws of the land will be formed formulated against the people of god and there are scriptural proofs in the bible for such precedents you must read the book of daniel very carefully chapter 3 and chapter 6 and also read the book of esther national law were made to attack godly people my dearly beloved brothers and sisters and sons and daughters and on december the 10th of last year as i was waiting on god Ten. i saw in a vision the number 70 Ten. and the lord jesus told me look out for this number 70 the coming new year will be the year of the 70 and the number 70 signifies the year of a turning around turn around and wait to take off and the sign is the number 70 what is the spiritual significance of the number 70 number 70 signifies like a cut off period if you read psalms chapter 90 and the verse 10 the bible tells us the age or the life span of a person is 70 years or if he has more faith and more strength 80 years 70 signifies a cut off period so which means something that has been happening in the past okay. now god is cutting it off so that period of time that has taken place in the past will be no more okay. that's the first thing to take note of the spiritual significance of the number 70 okay. and the second thing that you will read is 70 also signifies of 70 palm trees by the spring of elim okay. in exodus chapter 15 verse 27 second thing about the number 70 it signifies a completion of fullness there that is what the word kept on coming before me when i prayed and asked god for the meaning of the number 70 i was very puzzled by the number 70 why oh, prayed and asked the lord one night not what does this number 70 signify yes. then in the middle of the night that word came a completion of fullness so what does that mean a perfect spiritual order carried out with all power a perfect spiritual order carried out with full power then it also signifies a period of judgment so what does that really mean yeah. it is to announce the coming of god's kingdom with power to judge yeah. that is the completion of fullness and the word of the lord came unto me to say the days of grace is coming to an end yeah. just like how the days of law came to an end when the lord jesus came the days of grace transited into the days of grace yeah. i'm sorry i should say the days of law transited into the days of grace in the same manner the day Days of grace is reaching its end and transiting into the last days now. I was shocked one night when this word came unto me. When I was pondering about the completion of fullness, it's when the Lord Jesus said, "The days of grace are now completed. Now it will transit to another age, another dispensation. When dispensation ends, another now begins. What is that? The time." has now come to preach the gospel of the kingdom of god yeah. matthew chapter 24 verse 14 the lord jesus told many signs the last sign before he comes said this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world yeah. the end shall come so that is the last sign mm. so when the lord jesus said the time has now come to preach the gospel of the kingdom to be very honest with you i shud- shuddered and trembled with fear because that is the last sign then the end shall come so this is the last sign and you know interestingly the lord jesus christ also sent out 70 disciples to preach the gospel of the kingdom with power in luke chapter 10 verse 1 you read that dear. again you see the number 70 there my dearly beloved 
and respected men of God and all God's evangelists who are there. Now that time has come to yes. preach the gospel of the kingdom. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the preaching of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ to save us. Yes. But the gospel of the kingdom is to preach about the coming of God's kingdom. Thirdly, the number 70 is also very specifically connected with Israel. If you read Jeremiah chapter 25 verse 11, chapter 29 verses 10 to 14 and Daniel chapter 9 verse 2, the prophet Jeremiah prophesied about 70 years of captivity for Israel in Babylon and accordingly the Babylonian king came and captured Israel and took the people to be slaves into captivity in Babylon for 70 long years. Right now you may be scratching your head and wondering how can an ancient prophecy that happened thousands of years ago has any connection with the last days. Let me explain to you. When the prophet Daniel read the prophecy of the prophet Jeremiah, he was also a captive in Babylon. He was so troubled by that prophecy. He didn't quite understand understand about it. So he fasted and prayed. The end of his fast, the angel Gabriel came to visit him to explain the prophecy to him. You know, right here I like to pause for a moment and explain. Many, many innocent and misinformed people who say that angel don't visit us. They say, no, no, we only need the Holy Spirit. Only the Holy Spirit is enough to teach us everything. But right here in the Holy Bible is written in Daniel chapter 9 verses 24 to 24. 27, Daniel was already filled with the Holy Spirit. But the angel Gabriel came to explain that prophecy to him. So let's not with pride and arrogance push away some of the genuine works of God. When the angel Gabriel came, you will realize that when he explained about the prophecy in the 70 years of captivity, he connected that to another prophecy that was a 70 weeks prophecy. It was not a relationship to the 70 years, but the 70 year prophecy had another dimension now. And now it is a 70 week prophecy, but it not only lasted for 70 weeks, it stretched for a long period of time that included the first coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, the crucifixion of the Lord Jesus Christ and it stretched to our time now. And when you read it, you will show us very clearly what everything means.